going here. All right, so gear puller, not going to do it. We tried, ran down to my local uh, Milford Auto Parts store here in Connecticut, and I got a cheap harmonic balancer for $22. Puller for $22. Puller, yeah. So let's, let's send her home. Oh, you know what? Need a little deep feet back here. Let's help her along. Try not to spray me in the nut sack, will you? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that. All right, let's go. She's coming. Get, get a close-up of it sliding here. Success. And there you go. Got the right tool. Look at no damage to the snout of the crank. What, what's this little thing? There's like yeah. silicone on it. Oh. Look at that. How's that for crazy? Alrighty. Alright, so let's get this. Uh, that was me when I changed the uh, intake. I changed the gasket on here too. So let's pull this uh, timing cover off. That's a brand new one, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. Flame hardened. <laughs> well, it was a good one. It was a good one. Let's clean this off. Here we go. Let me double, triple check. Yeah, it's a 10. A little, a little loose, but we can live with it. Alrighty, let's go here. Breaking away. Okay. Yeah, what do I do with my big screwdriver? I'll use a little screwdriver. Let's pull her off and see what kind of slop we got in the timing chain. Huh? Oh, that's right. This connects to this. Uh oh. The elbow's connected to the shin bone. The shin yeah. bone's connected to the trombone. Uh. You don't need that time and cover. No, it's one time use. <laughs> That's all she was, kids. Look at all the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the oil pan gasket. Yeah, she popped out. There goes the chain. Oh, oh that's sloppy. Yeah. Look at the little baby teeth on her. Little tiny. Look at the little tiny teeth. At least it's not. Oh, that's such a cute little Remember tiny. the Buicks used the nylon teeth on these? So I'm kind of happy that that's uh, the metal. And look at, there's the gear. We're going to pull the timing chain off that now. That mallet shaft. It's got a gear. That comes off the back of the crank, or the, the crank, the cam, excuse me. And that's the craziest it shit. It spins ever. along. You gotta show them up here. And it just, I guess, spins along. We'll find out in a minute. It must turn. What's that? Yeah, it must. It must. She's gear driven. Put a nice little gear drive in her. That's as probably as far as we're gonna get without How about pulling this thing. <sighs> now you use your other puller. That's for the uh, what do you call it? This should just pop off, I think. That's for the crank uh, crank position sensor. This is what it reads. That I don't think that's pressed on. That we're gonna leave that. sitting at home. They're like, watch these two monkeys pull this motor. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing. See how the balance oh, yeah, shaft look at spin. Look at it. Yeah, show them the balance shaft up here spinning. But it spins nice and freely, kids. Yeah. Okay, I don't have that type of socket, so that's gonna be an issue. Let's see what we can crunch on there. So reverse Torx. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have. I got one right here. The one that looks like a Torx on the inside. 
like that. Mm, maybe. It's too small. So usually I was able to get a socket on them. Here we go, I got the right one. So I just gotta go behind you, get a quarter inch drive uh, adapter. Show them the socket, put it in the camera. It's a 3 8. Too many moving parts. Why do you need something like that? There you go. Get it on there, good. We're gonna get her in there nice. Knurl her over, boys. What are you doing with a carpenter hammer? Get a fucking ball peen and whack that bitch. Because that was the closest thing to me. Put it on there, good. It's on, it's all the way to the end. Get a pipe wrench. Stop fighting me. Close that bitch up. Yeah, hopefully that works. All right, boys. Let's see what happens. Uh oh. There you go, Harbor Freight. Uh oh. Shucks. Give him a side view. Uh oh. When they tell you don't use impact with uh, regular sockets, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Take that one back for warranty. <laughs> we'll try a better socket. That's good. All righty. Cover your eyes. Safety glasses. We got her. Uh oh, uh oh. We got her. Success. Show us the winnings. <laughs> oh yeah. Balance shaft. No more. It's off. Getting out of there. Just seeing that alone, this motor is all done. Next thing you put. Anything that this motor would go into, it gets a small block Chevy instead. <laughs> There's my answer to all of it. Some gears, which are in relatively good shape. If you look at the weir. That's all right. This thing had some valve issues. Yeah, well, well I don't think valve. I'm thinking it had a... Sticky lifter. You don't know for sure unless you check them. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. These are Torx fittings to get this. Oh, one. we're in more trouble. We'll leave that on because we don't need to take that more off. More trouble, guys. More Torx. They don't want the average Joe backyard in your garage Sunday mechanic touching these things. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> this has to come off. I wasn't paying attention. More unnecessariness. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, we got more unnecessary flag on the field, unnecessary thrust plate bearing washer thing. Do that with a cam button years ago mm -hmm. now. You got a thrust washer because you got them stupid gears in there. And I got one. Oh well. I guess I'm getting old. New modern technology's passing me by. This everybody's laughing. They're like, "That thing's a dinosaur engine." What are you talking about? <laughs> it just went in. Get her in there. Get in there. Ah. Oh, get in there. It's stripping. That's it. Send a couple apes in to do some fine technician work. See, Chevrolet got them little Jeff Gordon types working in their service departments there. Like 5'3. 
Maybe a little bit on the feminine side. Maybe a lot on the feminine side. I gotta get up on a ladder just to get into the S10 and under the hood. All right, look at them two gorillas. Over six foot tall, 300 pound monsters just mauling the heads off of everything. It's just not working. <laughs> it's the right size. Gotta put some heat on her. You're using these old shot fucked up bits too. No, this oh, ain't fucking meant. Why are you stripping something's not right? Already all mauled up, ain't happening. Get the taps out. Get the heat out. This thing's going to the scrap here. Right in the back of that Dodge, I'll get her where she belongs. I'll bring her home. She's gonna go be become a lamp or a bedpost over in China. He always works. Yeah, if you ask me, that looks like it'll come right out. Get a couple of them bolts that were holding something, one of them camshaft gears, and thread them in or find a longer bolt like them. It's not happening. Yeah, you're, you're, you're just <laughs> better the Dodge kids. This thing goes into better that Dodge, she goes right to the scrapper. She gets. All right, boys. When all else fails, you get the grinder. This is going to get this uh, cam uh, plate off right here. No problem. I'm going to cut here. And I'm going to cut here. And then the center section will fall out. And then later on, I could heat up these bolts and I could get something around and spin the whole thing. Or so I'm hoping. Ooh. Ooh, this might be the wrong way. Got it upside down. Mm. All right, we're gonna go for round two here. So the grinding wheel. Check out the carnage. There we go. All right, touched it a little bit, but nothing serious here. Can you get a close up here? In here? And over here. We're good. Now I'll heat this up later on and we'll get this whole piece right off. So, I could probably put vice grips around this thing and spin the whole thing as one unit, but that's. Not for now. This is just, you know, it is what it is type of video. There we go. Uh oh, bye bye, cam bearings. Right. Like that. <laughs> you oh. don't need those cam bearings. 
So let's inspect as it comes out. How's she looking? She got weird, but overall. Let me get a uh, little rag. Chevrolet's finest. Roller cam all worn the fuck out. Oh yeah, she scorched. Look at that. No good. It's called never change your oil. Yeah. You ought to call, call the guy you bought it from. Well, the motor didn't work. He said it was, they said it was no, it over, uh, it overheated because it had a, what do you call it? They said head gasket, but it wasn't even the head gasket. It was the, uh, what do we call it? It was the um, intake gasket. But yeah, because the head gaskets are actually mint on this. That's not bad. How about the gear for the distributor? Nah, that's fine. There's nothing wrong here. I mean, the scan, the cam's got some wear on it, obviously, from bad oil or something. But overall, it's garbage. Say it again. I don't think the camera picked it up. It's garbage. Garbagey. Say it one more time. It's garbage for the people in the back. <laughs> it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get, get a gander at that right there. Got to put it in light. There you go. We got some more score marks. Score mark there. Score marks here. You got the blue showing up underneath the uh, whatever this is coated with. I don't know. Or overheated. All right. So that's garbagey. Throw right. it on the ground. Let's watch it break. Do it for the movie. It's not gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're gonna roll it over here now and uh, take the oil pan off and have a game. You better. Uh... But well, first, we need an uh, intermission. Some, somebody go tell him what's in that water jacket right there. You see that green? That's antifreeze. If he flips this motor over, it's all going to be on the garage floor. But Dude, look in front of us. All right, so we'll be right back.